I'm going to just do something with this nozzle, which I've been experimenting with, which is a three, but really unhelpfully. I'm not actually sure who it's by. It's one that was in the, the bottom of the box. So, um, I can show you what it looks like there. Interesting squeak. It's kind of got three little points there. One, two, three. Okay. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do a kind of rolling effect, like you do, I guess you, like you do for rope. So, I'm just rolling round and round, and then starting again. You see what I mean? It's that clear rolling, the nozzle round and round, round and round and round and round. And then I'm going to start doing another layer in between. Now, the idea of this is actually that it's going to look like kind of waves. So I suppose it's like a barrel. Is that, you know, like if you get barrel curls? Like that. I'm just going to fill it. There we are. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill in that bit as well. Once I finish, is I'm going to put a fish on top. So I've got this fish here. Actually, I might just build up a little bit of height. That's the great thing about icing. Just add a bit more around here. Just build up a little bit of height, just because it's going to present the fish a bit better. Okay, so let's pick my angle. I think I'm going to have the fish going like that. It's diving through the ocean. Okay, and I'm going to have to glitter that, I think, just for the hell of it. This is almost empty, this pot. Let's see if we can get anything out of it. Not a lot. Ah. That keeps on giving. <laughs> okay, so that's a fish one. I'm going to show you in a separate tutorial how to mould the fish and how to paint them, so I'll do that one next.